Welcome back everyone, welcome back to Let's Play Dead State Demo. We're just equipping our um, party members, or future party members, uh, because we want to have them to have the best stuff, obviously. And I love inventory management, I always loved, in I loved it in games. So, ooh, do, 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 do. she's gonna have this, <clears throat> Anita, and probably nothing else, just melee stuff. Actually, she's got mechanical skill, doesn't she? She could uh, do lockpicking if we needed it. Let's see. I do have a. I do have two lockpicks. There we go. And I'll check this out as well. It's pretty crazy, this thing. Instead of the baseball bat, maybe. And we'll see how it works. So, uh, actually, I'm gonna keep this for now. <clears throat> All right. So I think we're ready. Wait, what about Joel? He's got quite a bit of stuff here. Especially that uh, sledgehammer is interesting. Yeah, put that over there. 38 ammo. Okay, that's for this. Never mind. Uh, wait, Anita will have all the lockpicks. There. And Rene will have... Oh yeah, I could have the sledgehammer. Or maybe Anita. Because that thing looks nasty. And it also has a nice knockdown effect. Right. So anyway. It's a new day. Let's go talk to Rene. Yes. Got time for some questions. Uh, nothing. Okay, never mind. Let's just go for a run then. Nobody else has anything to say to us at the moment, so that's all right. There's chatter on the radio. Oh yeah, Ugh. I forgot to assign party members. It would be nice to be able to uh, access this job board just from a menu, not to have to run for uh, to run to it. All right, so obviously uh, we said Anita will be in the party. Uh, can you take Davis? Oh yeah, of course. See, he's uh, blocked out because he's on a wheelchair. And we said René in party and us. John Smith. There we go. We can take more than uh, three people, obviously, but Joel is quite hurt. In fact, it would be nice to have his health over here so we know how, you know, how he is. Well, you can't do anything, really, unfortunately. I guess I can take him into the party. Why not? We'll all go. Slightly wounded. See, she's slightly wounded. And Joel is wounded. So, uh, we'll have to be careful. But with poor, four people, it's going to be easier to do this stuff. <clears throat> right. Where are we going? There's the Bison Street. And there's the Brady Pharmacy. So, obviously, we want to go to the pharmacy first. And if we do good over there, we, ooh, fishing location, fishing pole required. Ah, we might go to the bison as well. Oh, that's pretty cool. You can also fish. That is pretty awesome. See, but it, it's stuff like this that I really love in these RPGs. All these choices you have, what to do. Oh, please don't mix the music again. Excellent. Yeah, Joel is quite hurt, but. I don't want to waste um, medical stuff on him just yet. I'll just have to keep him out of harm's way. <clears throat> right. So. Let's check things out. I like the music. It's sort of, you know, ominous. Let's check out the dumpster. I'm gonna take, not, not the rotten fruit, just the uh, parts. Well, that's a locked door. But nobody's around here, so I, I don't think... It would be too bad just smashing it down. This takes five APs to attack. Yeah, that's quite a lot, which means I would only be able... Oh, there's a zombie coming. Arm chop. Ugh, hack hamstring. But it does do a lot of damage, yeah. Let's check it out on that zombie, shall we? Hello, zombie. Hello. <laughs> that's a lot of zombies up there. Look at that. Hello. Right, she's not gonna have enough to attack. She is! A oh, bloody hell! 
That was not good. Uh, right, Rene. You only have a basic attack for five. That's not great. Trauma for four. Okay, that's pretty good. So you can attack twice. Whoa, bloody hell, 50 points. Whoa, Rene's attack finds a weak spot in the dead looter's armor, dealing 50 points of damage. Bloody hell. And I was saying, well, she's not really a combatant. <laughs> I take that back. There's an arrow. Right, let's uh, smash that open. Okay, pro probably zombies since... Oh, there's another zombie coming over there. But we can just go, I guess. Small box, screwdriver and some parts. Who? Oh. oh no, that's me. <laughs> I thought it was a looter. There's nothing else over here. Okay, I think I'm gonna wake... Uh, wake? I think I'm gonna wait for that zombie. I think she's coming in. Where is she? There she is. Okay, considering we get no XP from killing zombies, I'm just gonna avoid her. For now. I don't really know if running... Decomposing woman. Ugh. I don't really know if running um, attracts more attention or not. I would assume it does. It would be only logical. Excellent. Three gallons of fuel. There's another parked car there. Oh, lovely. Pepper spray. News. There's a zombie. Smelling corpse. Ugh. We're gonna ignore that and go inside. What does that say? Revelations 6-3. We don't care. Freezer. Uh, jam. Not bad. Gotta be really careful here. There's so many places where... Oh, there's an angry looter. Alright, time to quick save. You know how this stuff... Oh, he's coming. He's coming and he's got a hatchet. And of course, he's... He stopped right there where we can't actually... Oh, shite. Get him. One, two, three. Maybe if we stand back a little. He won't have enough time units to attack. One, two, three, four. We'll see. He probably will be able to attack, but we'll see. There's actually two looters, isn't there? Ah, see. <laughs> he doesn't want to approach us. Uh, before... No. I'm gonna wait for him here. Come here, you bastard. He's brave. Ow! 11 points only, though. No? Well, now you've had it. I don't understand why some uh, weapons can attack diagonally and some can't. I guess the bigger ones can because they have more reach. But, oh well. Come on. 15. Uh, and that was a critical as well, apparently. Bloody hell. Oh, come on. 20. That's not too bad. Now, can I do that crazy... It's a hamstring hack arm chop. That sounds very nasty. Let's try an arm chop. Come on. Bloody hell. Only 19 points. I'm starting to wonder if this was worth it. Yeah, he's, he's about to die. Lovely. Huh. <laughs> One less bad guy to worry about. Alright. Yeah, this um, this thing, I'm not very amused. That's a very nice wooden axe. Some vitamins and codeine. I'm gonna try this axe as well, for now. Set active 6 AP. This also has an arm chop, but actually does less damage than this. Hmm. Maybe I was just unlucky with that. I'll give it the benefit of the doubt for now. See, once again... Sanitary pads. While men might think these are useless, their utility to women is indisputable. And to the squeamish, they also work as bandages in a pinch. Covering over major wounds. Luxury items. Uh, toothpaste will keep mouths clean and healthy, which promotes better hygiene. And breath the shelter. Water purification tablets. Excellent. Having these around alleviates any fear that the drinking water contains harmful bacteria. And wax candles. So, uh, once again, see, this is all just a single lootable block. But you don't really know that. Unless you click on it and your character doesn't move, of course. Which means, oh, yep. 
See over here, only this stuff is lootable. Vitamins, codeine, antibiotics. Ah, excellent. And Stuporex. Take one day at a time. Antidepressants that instantly raise mood in allies. You might be stronger if you don't need them, but taking pills raises morale faster. Does it have any nasty side effects like these uh, antipsychotics usually have? <clears throat> a book word uh, of word and number puzzles. A decent distraction for people with nothing to do. Well, that's not too bad. Oh, there's a female looter. Bloody hell. She hasn't even seen us. Well, let's enter combat before she can. And do an arm chop. That sounds really nasty. Oh, oh bloody hell. Okay, 36 points. And... Got arm sprain. That's it? Just arm sprain? And now we have to go all the way around. Oh! Oh! He actually moved out of the way. That was interesting. And that wasn't so nice. Uh, basic attack. Yeah, let's just go over here. Anita is my big damage dealer here. I don't change... Uh, yeah, she will be able to do damage. Not bad. I think this one has a gun, though. Yeah, she, she does. <sighs> 68! Jeez! 68 damage! Don't let them bite me. Well, you're not being bitten here, that's the problem. Let's do a hack. Whatever that does. Oh, come on. You can't attack diagonally, but you can heal. Come on. Why can't you heal? There we go. Badly wounded. What does this mean? No idea. Ah, she's uh, she's not knocked out anymore though. See, this is pretty nice. And you can't attack diagonally either. So this is pretty useless. You could use this, but you need to reload, of course. So not enough for that. But Anita's turn is now. And she can attack once. This looter is badly wounded, though, so, so yep, yeah, she's not gonna die just yet. Okay, she missed, good, because she's dizzy, probably. Excellent, but that did a lot of um, noise, so we gotta get the hell out of here. What? Oh, that was a critical. 128 damage, okay, I take it back, causing massive damage. That's pretty insane. Okay, we gotta get out of here. Alright, just... Oh, crap. There's another looter. Get away from my stuff! That's not your stuff. Ouch. Right. Um, well, you're gonna have to move, I'm afraid. Because others need to be able to attack as well. Not bad. And you attacked him from behind. Well, of course. Haven't even thought of that. No, 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 no. Sorry! <laughs> Right, uh, I won't have enough for this, unfortunately, so I have to do a basic attack. 32, not bad. And Anita, oh, Anita is panicking. Well, at least she's attacking. She's uh, taking the sledgehammer now, which is not ideal. I was hoping she would just attack twice. Bloody hell, everybody's bleeding and everything. Come on, finish him off, he's almost dead. Excellent. Come on, attack him. Lovely. But... We would probably do well to get out of here. Soon. Pharmacy. Let's just get everything. Let's see the dead looter. I wonder what that means. That she's bandaged and she can't be bandaged again? Is, is that it? Cooler... Yeah, take this stuff, not the rotten stuff, especially not the rat. Okay, I don't see any uh, zombies just yet, so that's alright. Anything here? Pharmacy storage. Shampoo! Okay, luxury item and laundry detergent. Excellent. Oh, did I see something there? I think it was just the body, right? Pile of boxes, powdered milk, some bandages. Not bad. Actually, pretty uh, pretty good loot over here. You know what? I'm not gonna smash my way out. And I'm gonna quick save again. 
Alright. Well, that was pretty interesting. None of the zombies have heard us, apparently. Oh, there's a zombie there. Oh, yes, there's zombies. Oh, right. So they did hear us, and they're not very happy about it. Let's go around them. And let's check the laundromat as well. So as you can see, once you get into the game, and of course, once you get past the... Oh, wait, wait, wait. Let's, let's not smash this in. Because those zombies might come right up to them. Yeah, once you get past the clunkiness, it's actually a lot of fun. Uh, and of course, when I say once you get past the clunkiness, I'm pretty sure and, well, at least I'm hoping that they will... Uh, Let's attack them. That they will um, polish this, you know. Let's do a hack. Bang! Hamstring for a zombie. Eh, not really that useful. I guess I could do it and then uh, move back. But let's try to make sure we take this guy out right now. Oh, bloody hell, not bad. Not bad at all. And I, I take it back. Purification table. Um... Pur purification tables? <laughs> yeah, I take it back. I thought she was not going to be very useful in combat, but she's actually pretty good. Ooh, the um, noise meter is yellow. It's a bit angry now. There's a small toolbox here. And nothing else, right? Oh, laundry machine. Yeah, the, the game is sort of jerking a little bit. I'm not sure why. That's why I, um... Is that the same thing? Yes, it is. That's why I'm quick saving. Because I don't know what's going on. If it's gonna crash or something. Well, we have one more place to check. Which is, uh, this area. And nothing else to check over here. What's over there, actually? Just houses. It's, um... It's a bit of a shame when uh, I was reading, well, you know, a couple of years ago or something about this game and they said that the maps would not be random. They would not be randomly generated. And, um, uh-oh, there's zombies. Oh, zombies inside as well. No, that's a looter. Let's actually, um, wait for the zombie to maybe attack the looters. That would be pretty cool. But yeah, I was kind of disappointed that the maps will not be random. Which, you know, considering they made NPCs random, and in that I mean not their stories, but actually if you replay the game, you will have the chance of getting different NPCs. And, you know, you will not end up with the same group as on the first playthrough, for example. It's a bit odd that the maps will not be random, because of course then you'll be running through the same stuff. But perhaps later in the game there are so many different options of where to go that, uh, you know, perhaps this will iron itself out and it will be more replayable. Well, damn it. I didn't really do what I wanted. I wanted her to come inside. Now if I start attacking this woman, I'm probably going to face the looter as well. well. Let's take care of that crap. She started coming before I could. Well, that's going to be some unnecessary damage. Ow. 25. Definitely unnecessary. Um, let's take her out. I like the fact that... Bloody hell, Rene is doing crazy amounts of damage. This is brilliant. Um, I like the fact that these are already uh, hurt from the get-go. You know, because it, it implies decomposition and such. Hack. 24 only? This is... Hmm... Not, not sure I like this weapon. It's sort of a high-risk, high-reward, I guess. But the reward is very rare. I did do 128 damage. It was r ridiculous. But still. Oh, well. Anyway, I will see you next time. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.